I play Kat Valdez. She's a superstar, a global kind of superstar. She's strong and confident. She's a businesswoman. She's a boss. Um, and But also, she's just a regular person. She's a regular girl who is, you know, gets lonely and who needs love and who wants to feel like she has a home and she's not a gypsy who's kind of, you know, just traveling the world and traversing <laughs> all of these things and and can kind of find a place that is hers. There was so much about it that really I could understand like nobody else could understand. And for me, it was really about in every moment go kind of bearing my soul. It was actually a little bit more uncomfortable than playing a character that is nothing like you. Uh, because this is you kind of like really bringing real personal life experience into a role in a way that I've never had to. At the opening of the movie, Kat is about to get married. She thinks her life is going to be one thing. She's doing this huge concert with her boyfriend of a couple years and they just, you know, she thinks her life is like headed down this one path. And with, in one second, everything changes and it all falls apart. And obviously she blames herself for not seeing things, but makes a choice, uh, a very <laughs> kind of uh, spontaneous choice to marry somebody else in the audience. Um, and that's how she meets Charlie. And with that, her life completely changes, as it does when you meet someone who really sees you for who you are. And being that Charlie is not into celebrity and doesn't know who she is as an artist and doesn't know how famous she is, he's able to really just see a person and, and love her for who she is, just the girl. The nice person that she is, the person who likes to have fun, the person who is competitive and, you know, and loves to dance and those type of things. And it's nice to see how these two very different people can kind of come together and really fall in love. And you really believe it. And Owen is amazing. Um, and he really helps her grow and kind of stand on her own for the first time in her life and let her know, like, just be a friend to her and help her realize that she's the love of her life. And until that happens, you really can't be in a good relationship with anybody. And that's maybe been her problem the whole time. And he helps her discover that. You know, Owen and I are so very different too, <laughs> which kind of worked for the characters really well, you know? Um, and it was just great kind of getting together with him and hearing his perspective on, on Charlie and my kind of perspective on Kat and how different we thought about things. But at the end of the day, I think those differences is what the movie's about, and how different their lives are and how do you bring two people together that way. And um, we were really able to find, you know, kind of the connect with them, which is just everybody kind of just wants at the end of the day, no matter how big and you know famous you are, you just want a simple life. You want to be happy. You want to have love. You want to find love. And I think Owen and Kat both had that. And I think that's where Owen and I kind of really concentrated with the two, with the two characters and were able to really create this wonderful chemistry between us. At the beginning of the movie, it just seems like a natural thing that they would get together, that they would be together. They could fall in love and be together because this is their life and they both understand this life. And I think halfway through the film, after she's been with Charlie for a while and, and Bastion comes back into the picture, it's like, I think Charlie's watching that performance of the two of them at Madison Square Garden and thinking, this, this is where she belongs. This is who she is. She's not the girl who's been hanging out with me at math class the past few weeks. This is her world. This is her life. That's the type of person she should be with. But it turns out it doesn't matter like what people do or how much you have in common at work. Personally, who you are as people is what really matters and how someone makes you feel. 
Do they make you feel safe? Do they make you feel secure? Do they make you feel at home? Working with Maluma was a joy. It was so much fun. This was his first movie. That was his first time acting. Um, and he was a natural. He was a real natural. I remember doing the first scene with him and going to the director and going, he's a natural. That's good. We can, it's not going to be weird or awkward. It's not like, you know, he has studied acting his whole life or anything like that. This was just him really doing it. But sometimes, you know, you don't get lucky. But we got really lucky because he was a really natural actor and he really understood what his role was. And, uh, and we had a lot of fun. I mean, it's his charisma, you know, that, you know, we needed somebody who could really pull off that they were a superstar, a, you know, a recording artist uh, who was easy on stage, who girls would go crazy for, who was, you know, believable as a cheater. <laughs> he hates that. He's like, you know, I'm not this guy. This is not who, I am not Bastion. I go, no, I know, I know. <laughs> It was so much fun because we really wanted to sing at a big venue for when they get back together in the middle of the movie. And Maluma just happened to be doing a concert in Madison Square Garden during that time. He had a few shows there. So we were like, why don't we crash that concert <laughs> and film it? And so we did. Uh, he was a great sport about it. In the middle of his regular concert with all his bands, I just come out and we, we do Marry Me. And it was amazing. It was really, really amazing. So it was a lot of fun.